I want to wish you, your friends, and your family a very, very happy Thanksgiving. I pray that it is the most meaningful Thanksgiving of your life. I ask you to think back of the year and think of January. You close your eyes, you meditate, and you ask God to recall some of the significant things that you're thankful for that happened to you in January. Then I ask you to do February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Each month taking time. And if you can't remember anything, you just thank God for some of the things that you can't remember, but you know that God was always there. One of my favorite things to say is that some of the greatest things to be thankful for are things that you weren't even aware of, where God was working in your behalf in the background, and disasters were averted, and good came, even something that was stabilized or normal is something to be thankful for. You go through the whole year. Now, I know you will find that it's impossible to remember everything. That's the whole reason for our gratitude to God calendar system is to write down five things a day that you are thankful for and then review it at the end of the week, review it at the end of the month, and at the end of the year. On Thanksgiving, it is uh, something that will overwhelm you with the good of God that has happened in your life. Now, you don't need one of our calendars. You can buy a calendar, a pocket calendar at any Hallmark store and keep it with you. That's the whole key. Keep it with you. Have a pen available so that you can record things as they happen. Otherwise, you'll forget. But you'll be able to recall some things as you do this in prayer and give thanks for them. Give thanks for all of the good of God that has been there, things that you're aware of, things that you're not aware of, that you are aware that God's always working in your behalf and your family's behalf. Don't just give thanks for you, but give thanks for things that happened in those that you love, their life, and their daily living itself. I pray that as you do this, that you will recall And when I was first doing this, I struggled. uh, What happened in January, I said. And uh, I just was praying and praying for memory. And not all the time did I get it immediately. Sometimes I got it late at night or in the middle of the night. But thank God I recalled. And when I recalled, I gave thanks sometimes with tears in my eyes, realizing the greatness of what God has done. God will take care of you. I've often said to people that I've lived the greatest life that of anybody that I know. And people that have known me for a long time, they said, yes, but you had this problem and this problem and that problem. The whole thing is I don't focus on the problems. I don't give them the time of day, especially, especially in my memory. I focus on the good. And when you focus on the good, that is accumulative. It is something that builds a great life. People have often said to me, have you really had that good a life? And I have to say, absolutely. 
I'm the luckiest man alive. I've had so much good happen to me, it, it's just undefinable. Things like this ministry that I could have never thought up in my human mind, and especially not its growth. I give thanks for everything. I give thanks for you. Whether I know you personally or I don't, we have a connection, and we pray together, and we talk. I give thanks for you a great deal, whether you realize it or not. And I know that prayer is the language that bypasses time and space. I know that as I pray for you, you'll feel that prayer on some level. And I pray all the time that it blesses you. And that the power of God blesses not just in an overall way, but in a minute-by-minute way in your life. So today, I wish you a very, very happy incredibly joyous Thanksgiving. I pray that this week is a week that is filled with extra wonderful power and that it is something that you will feel at depth and that it will last long after the day itself, the meal itself, the gathering itself, I pray that as you're sitting at the gathering, at the Thanksgiving table, that silently, you don't have to do this aloud, that you continually go around the table and bless the people that are there. It is a time that is never going to be repeated in the same way. It's sacred. The people that you're with the people that you're connecting to that day. So my friend, happy Thanksgiving. I send you not only my wishes that God blesses you, but also my love.